I mean, to be fair, like, sh her faith skill is already at, like, A+, plus, isn't it? Or, like, A? I do have that lance skill, though. Yeah, I'll... I'll I won't update. I can figure that out some other time. <laughs> I feel like she needs some extra word. Can I have a moment of your time? Certainly. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Oh, why is that? Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? A few times, yes. The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still. Yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at all. Chaos, one must do is, is the perfect cast. Uh, what are you talking about exactly? <laughs> about fish, of course. Oh. Bother. I got sidetracked. <laughs> oh, bother. Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise, yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not say. Aha! Uh -huh. I suspect that if you choose not to say, you must be quite young. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder... Could you be younger than your own students? Okay, what kind of question is this? How old are you? Who? Me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. Well, you do look younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, you should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the Academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. She's so nice. <laughs> Unlike a lot of the people that I've talked to. She's so, like, polite. And now I maxed out her motivation. Well, that was very cute. Uh, Bernadetta. Great weather today. Perfect for shutting yourself inside, don't you think? Uh, definitely. I'm glad you get it. With great weather like this, there'll be no one inside to bother us. I love feeling like I'm all alone in the world. Oh, that. Well, I guess I can tell you, Professor. My father's obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. I'm sorry, what? A good wife. He'd do things like tie me to a chair. I tried hard to do as he asked. Honestly, I did. But before I knew it, 
I just couldn't bring myself to leave my room anymore. I think that's a terrible father. Why would you, why would he do such things? I'd say that's a red flag. This overwhelming feeling of fear all the time. No matter how hard I tried, my father never thought I was good enough. After that, it was just constant scolding. He couldn't say two words to me without mentioning how useless I was. An unmarriageable girl. My life was isolated, to say the least. I wasn't allowed to play with other kids, let alone make friends. Soon, I stopped wanting that. I was happiest alone, but even that made him mad. And when he tried to drag me outside, I kicked and screamed so much, I seriously hurt myself. He's calmed down a bit in recent years. His constant torment was replaced with complete indifference. He mostly acts like I don't exist now. Jesus Christ, it's... There's no wonder she was acting like this when we first met her. It was a very abusive father. If you can believe it, I was basically kidnapped. My mother ordered an attendant to stuff me in a bag while I was sleeping. By the time I figured out what was going on, I was already here. For a while, I was sure I was going to die. But here I am. Look at me, still breathing. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you down talking like that about my past. Just forget everything I told you. There's no point in talking about myself anyway. Idiot. Oh, this is why everyone hates you, Bernie. <laughs> Thank you for confiding in me. Uh, it's. I don't know why, it's just whenever she does say stuff like that, it's just like, we didn't even do anything, we're just... We're just existing. Uh... Nah, don't worry about it. You're the only one who would ever say such a kind thing to me, Professor. <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't look at me! I'm sh I'm sure she wants a hug from me too, just like she did with uh, Dorothea. Edelgard. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? Trouble sleeping. Is it that obvious? I despise being cooped up when sleep evades me. I just have to get some fresh air. Right. I okay. I think um oh dear. I feel like there has to be some part that Amanda told me about about me and uh between me and Edelgard that I have to talk about or have to make the choice. And I don't know when that's going to be. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, I couldn't sleep either. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. I should get some sleep too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun, for a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About... my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlan, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand, the fruit of that endeavor, Edelgard von Hressfeld. But that came at too high a price. The others were sacrificed. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, 
without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it, the truth of the Horesfelg's empire. It is. But when you see my true strength, you will know that I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours. The oh. crest of flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. What? For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifices never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. Jesus. I didn't know you were able to get two crests, let alone the same crest as mine. Well, now I know what her intentions are now, and I feel like I want to help her. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Huh. I have sorrow, lady. Worry. All right. Looks like they did poorly with uh, the flying, so I guess that can't be helped. Yeah, holy crap. I, I never knew you can get two crests. I thought it was just one, like a like a rite of passage or something. I never knew that. The more you know. So now both me and Edelgard have the same crest together. So you saved the village from bandits. Now that we've had this learning experience, vigilante groups or vigilant groups have popped up across the land. Hopefully they'll this will help protect the peace. All right, perfect. So now it looks like for today we can go exploring again. Unless we actually no, we can do that next uh, Sunday. We can do a battle again to get that other um quest battle. Yeah, but it looks like we're able to go exploring again. We still have yet to get advanced seals. Oh, wait a second. Can I become a holy knight? Oh. Only has a 34% chance though. Oh, okay. I think it's a I think it's an accessory just like the rings. Okay, so maybe I can equip it with a uh, flame. It increases the effectiveness of magical healing. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let us begin the lesson. Professor. Wham, pow, as I always say, if all else fails, hit him with your fists. Train me up in hand-to-hand -hand brawling, and I'll make a great grappler. Oh, uh, I mean, you're already ready to become a grappler, so... Let's, uh, let's not update the goal. <laughs> like, you're already ready. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. <laughs> assassination? <laughs> Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. <laughs> Why are you following me? I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendel? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. You may also know him as Lord Arendel, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took her majesty and fled to the kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Eyre and my father, Lord Arendel rendered Emperor Ionius IX politically impotent. Lady Edelgard is Ionius the Ninth's daughter. 
I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? I think he's on to us. Unpredictable. <laughs> as though you could turn traitor at any moment. Uh, I don't even know. I don't want to be a traitor. No, not familiar at all. I learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. Yes, I, would hate I shall. To come to bloodshed. Yes, I, I, I shall. Thanks, Hubert. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want bloodshed in my future. <laughs> Please. I don't want darkness in my heart. <laughs> oh, look, it's uh, Cyril's birthday. Give him flowers. <laughs> Just please take me to a Sunday. Alright, cool. Perfect. On the sky watch. Hope this is good for something. So now, Bernadetta has learned vengeance for her lance. Oh, and that's it. So I guess the next focus when we do some lecturing will have to be Hubert with writing again. Writing with Bernadetta again. Um, I don't know about sword for Flane. Yeah, I'm honestly confused about that. Might, might as well just leave her be for now. She, she's been using a lot of that faith skill. So I might as well just leave it at that. All right, cool. So now we're at the end of the month. We're a day before the battle. Yeah, and... And this one, yeah, this suggests we should do the quest battle. Yeah, I'm actually curious. Can she? She can't. Okay. Okay, she can't. I'm going to have to focus on her. Um, like, I should have done it at the lesson. Because I can have her focus on reason. Because apparently she has a hidden talent. That's pretty good somewhere. Well, anyways, um, you can go up ahead. Uh, where's Petra? Oh, you're right here. Uh, Hubert, you can go up ahead. And then Ferdinand, you can go here. This looks like it's just going to be another route of enemies, so I... Yeah, it looks like I can have the option to skip this one. Jeez. <laughs> Could you imagine, like... I'm... It probably happened like a bunch of times, but could you imagine like the entire stat just got a single boost? Like every single one of them got a plus one. Could you imagine how satisfying that would fucking be? So much satisf uh, satisfactory. All right. Well, that was over with. The best of the best. I feel like we were too much of the best. So now, after that's done, we... Oh, right. We still have to do one more battle. <laughs> uh, I could end the free day if I want to. I mean, this is level 15 
suggested level. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'm gonna skip. My, thank you, I've done my part with the quest battles, and I'm... I am satisfied. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the end of the month. With all our... Hard work and training. We have now made it to the end. Oh. Hmm. Although I guess I... Oh no, I did save after the battle. End of the War of the Eagle and Lion is today. There is a special dish in the dining hall. Partake in the festivities. Well, of course. Who am I going to have dinner with? The end Oh. Holy, that's a, that's a whole ass chicken. Are you gonna finish that? We're having it with Bernadetta and Ferdinand. Huh. Well, that was random. Are you sure you're gonna eat that whole chicken? Alright, well... I'm glad we got... I'm glad we got ourselves, uh, satisfied. And our belly's full, so... The only thing left to do now is to partake in the mission. So first... I'd want to give uh, a look at the inventory. Alright, I guess I've uh, equipped some really good abilities. Uh, I'll deal with the combat arts later. Alright, I guess I never knew that. Actually, whoop. Well, good thing you can exit out of that one. <laughs> if, you do, if you do that through normal battles, it just ends the day for you. But I think we're done here. We can partake in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional contest of strength between the three houses has arrived. It will take a place at Grander Field, which lies in Imperial territory. Here we go. My, thank you so much. Grander Field is in the Empire. It's actually part of my family's territory, House Burgley's. It is the largest field in all of Bodlin. The grain it produces sustains the whole Empire. Wait, I sure hope we don't destroy all that grain. It is considered the most suitable place for a large-scale battle. Professor, if it were up to you, how would you approach this battle? Just fight them head on. That sounds like a certain someone we both know. But as you wish, we'll use whatever <laughs> I think she's referring to Gerald. If the Black Eagle House bands together, we won't lose. Our strength is superior. So if we do lose, it will be on your shoulders, Professor. If you are not confident you can do this, just sit back and leave it to me. <laughs> the most you will do is make things worse. You'll just get in Lady I'm Eagle seeing some way. reflections on people's fight? armor oh, and it's kind of distracting. Now, uh, I think we all need to calm down. First it was no Violet's dress and now I'm seeing I'm Hubert's collar. Enemies. Hunting isn't exactly... Well, I guess they're pretty similar, actually. I'm just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. What? No, that's not what I meant! Good work, Bernie. This will be your first battle, won't it, Flane? You don't seem... Oh, that's to right. This is her first time. I shall give it my all. Oh, she's going to do fantastic. The flag of the Black Eagles will soon grace Grander Field. Well, this is going to be interesting, at least for the the aftermath of it. But we are going to roll these assholes. I mean, uh, fellow students. I should actually... In the meantime, put some, put this on. 
I'm still putting that cream on. Although it's starting, starting to actually run out. As a matter of fact, I think it's completely empty. We'll have to probably use a towel, but uh, give me like a quick second or two. All right, what do we got here? Oh my goodness. There is treasure chests in this battlefield. We got the blue lions over here with some allies. Wait, why did they? Well, yeah, why did they have like some extra people? Um, goodness, yeah, yeah, they're they're like at least level fourteen. Dimitri's at level fifteen. There's a treasure chest over here, and if we go over here, is the golden deer. Oh yeah, that's right. Why am I- why the hell am I participating in this battle? Like, isn't Manuela and Hanuman not participating? Also, Ash here. Oh my goodness. Ash can shoot pretty damn far. He's an archer, he can shoot that far. Uh, what's over here? Oh wow, he- Ignatz is also an archer. Okay, so we got a- we got ourselves a war in our hands. Let's take a look, one more look at the battlefield here. There's like one, one treasure. I feel like we should split up. So who, Petra, I feel like Petra can go and get it unless uh, someone else can. I feel, you know what, I feel like Dorothea can. Uh, Chesky, I have one. All right, um, without further, uh, duh, let's begin. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. It is time. Here we go. The true mock battle begins. The ballista in the center of the battlefield. The house that secures it will have a clear advantage. Yeah, Ash has it. You can earn a reward if you defeat more enemies than other classes. Hurry and defeat the enemies before the other classes start fighting. Oh, they're gonna fight each other. Okay. Well, Byleth, you're gonna go forward. You're gonna kill this guy first. Nice. I guess I should be using some battalions, aren't I? Bernadetta, you can actually follow up with her. Oh, shoot. I forgot to give her some bows. Actually, can you stand here? No. Oh, great. I forgot to, I forgot to give Bernadetta some bows. <laughs> Oops. 
Oh, well. So much for that. Uh... I'll keep this meteor handy. I'll keep that meteor handy. Uh, Ferdinand, you go this way. As a uh, flame. Oh, you know what? I can have Linhart warp someone. Oh. You know what? I've done some smart. Okay. Oh, it's gonna. Oh my God! Are you? <laughs> Are you? Hang on, we'll skip. It literally just redid the cutscene <laughs> as I went back. Oh my god, are you serious?